Hi, I am Martina Lamont Dixon, and this is my Galena Park ISD story. My family history is extremely strong in Galena Park ISD. Um, my mother graduated from Fidelity Manor High School, which uh, closed when schools were integrated. Um, and uh, she was a top five student in her graduating class. Um, but not just her, I mean, she was the oldest of 11 children. All of those kids went to school <laughs> in Galena Park ISD, all of my aunts and uncles and cousins. And I have so many relatives along the way. And currently I even have an aunt on the school board, Wanda Heath Johnson, um, you know, my mother's uh, slightly younger sister, right? Um, but our family has just a very long history. I'm the oldest of five kids and my four brothers, we all went to schools in Galena Park ISD as well. Um, my oldest daughter actually taught in Galena Park ISD for a, a time um, and was Rookie Teacher of the Year when she was there. Um, and so it's it's been a, a family affair, <laughs> essentially, just loving and, and just loving on Galena Park ISD. In Galena Park ISD, um, I did lots of things. I was in the spelling bee, you know, I was, I was a very good student. So um, I, I got a really good foundation in my education. And one thing I would say is I definitely work to pay that forward, you know, in my own house with other students, you know, and even honestly, in our district, I see my former students working in our district. And, and, I, I, and I love that because, you know, I feel like they got a good foundation. So it's all about paying it forward. Um, having educators in my life like Mrs. Dixon really made me want to be an educator myself. Um, it, those opportunities allowed me to shine in other ways. I wasn't necessarily your athletic track star type, but going to those competitions, getting rewards for like best copy editor and things like that, um, really showed me that there were other avenues to really, I guess, broadcast your success or things in that nature. I left North Shore High School in 2006 because my husband was being transferred to Abu Dhabi for a construction project. And when we moved there, I was really trying to figure out exactly what you know I wanted to do because I'd be a stay-at-home mom with my four kids, which is fine, but I just wanted to be involved in some way in the community. Um, so I ended up running for office with the U.S. State Department for the American Community School in Abu Dhabi and I was elected, and that really started a completely different perspective in my life. It was uh, definitely an eye-opening experience coming from being on school boards. I decided that I was interested in running here as well. So I really just got involved, um, got involved with the Education Foundation in Umbel ISD. Then I moved into the, uh, onto the executive board for the Umbel ISD Education Foundation. Um, I was one of the people that traveled to Austin as a delegate for the PTA Council um, to speak to our state legislators on behalf of Umbel ISD. So I did a lot of those types of things and then uh, let's see, back in 2017 I ran for school board and I was elected and ran again for re-election in 21 and was re-elected by almost 80% of the vote, which I think is pretty unheard of and I'm completely honored um, that my community feels that I'm doing a good job representing them. Each school board in Harris County gets one vote of who they want to represent them on the HCAD board. And so the school districts elected me to that position. Um, and I'm honored to serve um, in that capacity as well. And then going forth, I've run for another office that I didn't win, but in that process, um, it has it essentially opened doors and an opportunity um, to now be appointed to serve as a commissioner on T. Cole. Well, yes, one interesting story uh, when I was a teacher at North Shore back in 99-2000 is uh, there were teachers who were expecting babies that year and Mrs. Linda Sherrard was our principal and the joke around the school was do not drink the water at North Shore High School because literally everyone was pregnant. And actually one of the people actually had twins so it was pretty cool that so many babies were born in 2000 from North Shore uh, High School and uh, all of us teachers got together and after all the babies were born 
and we went to the Gallery Baltazar, which is a staple, you know, in the North Shore community, and we had a formal portrait taken with all of the babies and all of the, the, the parents in the picture, and we all wore red, white, black, you know, we had our North Shore colors on, and uh, then we presented that portrait uh, to Mrs. Sherrard. We met her for lunch as a surprise at Iguana Joe's, and uh, she was totally taken aback. She was already crying just to see us all there, and then when we unveiled the, the portrait, she really broke down crying. So it was, it was a pretty awesome experience. And then actually when all of those kids were seniors, we got together again and we took a group photo again with all the, the, the kids that were born that year and all the teachers. It was pretty amazing. My why is really not about me, and, and I would say I um, think about Rick Warren's Purpose Driven Life, and the first sentence in that book is, it's not about you. And um, for me, it is about helping others really see their potential. Um, whether that's students, my kids, my friends, um, colleagues, um, community um, from the larger scale. So my why really is serving out my purpose and what, what does that mean and what does that look like? Uh, and that's, you know, it, it's from my heart and it is truly who I am as a person. Um, just want to uplift others and make, especially with students and young people, just so they know that, you know, no matter what you're going through, no matter what adversity faces you, that um, even that, even adversity that I've gone through as a young person or a college student or what have you, um, that it's really not about me. And if I focus on what my purpose is, then the why just happens naturally. And that's the best way I can describe what my why is.